Hi, Dr. Jerome Fryer here. I wanted to share with my clinical friends something that I think is important when we're thinking about encroachment syndromes in the cervical spine with regards to the IVF and the vasculature around the nerve root. So we know if you look at the basic architecture of the, of the pillars, you see how the facet joints are angled in this type of a fashion, right? So they're shingled. So upon, you can see the IVFs. So upon rotation, right? Upon rotation, the IVF, so for example, on the left IVF, and if you rotate to the right, the IVF will open. If you rotate to the left, ipsilaterally, the IVF will close. These are subtle things you can use Right, just to get your angles, see how your angles, so left IVF, right rotation will open up the IVF. So if you're thinking about promoting vascular flow around the nerve root, just opening up the IVF, think about static positions. And we know that you know, we've seen in the literature that about 30 seconds of static opening, just opening up the IVF to allow the vascular elements around the nerve to flow can have a positive effect. So I just wanted to share with you, remind you of the architecture of the facet joints and how they relate to shingling and how you can use it to consider opening up the vascular elements within the IVF. So I hope that's helpful.